Hey everyone, it is Tea Time with the Diva. Grab your tea, grab your coffee, because we're going to get into it. This Tea Time is dedicated to Candy Barris, formerly from the Real Housewives of Atlanta, and Kenya Moore, maybe formerly from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. You know, Kenya, Kenya Moore um, is caught up in a scandal, allegedly, while filming the Real Housewives of Atlanta 16th season, she did the unthinkable at the opening for her hair care spa, Kenya Moore Hair Care Spa, she allegedly revealed some um, intimate pictures, I'll call them that, of her fellow new castmate, Brittany Edie, and the crowd went crazy, okay? People were allegedly in shock. Now, there's rumors going back and forth like, oh my God, Kenya would never. And there's other people saying that, yes, she did. And now there's some phony Photoshop pictures going around of, you know, Britney and the said photos that was allegedly revealed at this, you know, opening of the salon. Kenya has since been suspended and her girl, Candy Burris, had came and spoke out and saying that, you know what, pretty much, I'm going to paraphrase people, she feels for Kenya, she think is wrong, and she wants to know who makes the rules? She's saying that in reality TV, and this is Candy Burris, the name of the game is you come for me, I come for you. No matter how low we go, it's the name of the game. Hold on now, Candy. It's the name of the game. It's the name of the game. Now, hold on 1.2 seconds here. You pretty much help ban Phaedra for life from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Who makes the rules? The same people that made the rules when you said that Phaedra went too far. Now, does Britney not get to say that Kenya Moore went too far? She went too low. She went all the way gutter and then some. So what do you mean, Candy? Who makes the rules? The same people make the rules. Yeah, y'all do have storylines where y'all come for each other and y'all go low, but everybody has a threshold that they say, okay, you went too far. And Bravo is telling Kenya Moore that she went too far. Just like Candy Burris, you said Phaedra Parks went too far. Everybody got their threshold. And once you cross it, there's no going back. Let me go ahead and share a screen. So Row Alum Candy Burris slams Kenya Moore's Bravo suspension after the S poster scandal, okay? And many people are still saying, I don't believe this happened. So y'all just think out of the blue and for no apparent reason whatsoever, they suspended Kenya Moore, really? Y'all think it's really taking them this long to look into what actually happened, really? I don't think so. I think that right now, unlike Kenya did, Bravo knows the temperature of the room. Bravo knows that the fans are fanatical and that if they announce that Kenya Moore has got has gotten fired over this situation, the people are going to lose their natural mind. But what I'm trying to get everybody to understand is at the end of the day, no matter how good you are, no, how, no matter how much you bring in the ratings, everybody is replaceable. And to, to take the smoke from that they may get from the fans, they can easily just say, you know what, we're canceling the whole season. And they would have good reason to say that. Why? Because the ratings have been tanking and sucking for several seasons now. Okay, so this right here is probably just the straw that broke the Campbell's back. So Candy, Candy, Candy Burris has come to the defense of a former Real Housewives of Atlanta co-star Kenya Moore following her suspension from Bravo series. While Burris, 48, recently left Roa after 14 seasons, she keeps up with the cast news and sometimes questions decisions that are made. Well, it's funny. Nobody questions the decisions that are being made when they're still on the show. It's when they leave, they got all of this smoke and all of this mouth. There has been some questionable things that happened, Candy, while you were still on the show. Did you question them then? No. But now you're going to question them now that you're no longer getting a check from Bravo. See, everybody is self-centered and only cares about themselves. When she was getting her check and all these questionable things were happening, we didn't hear from Candy. Matter of fact, and y'all know, so don't come at me in the comments now because y'all know I've been a candy lover for years, okay? 
always defended Candy. But one thing I can do over here, because I'm grown, grown, I could call a thing a thing, even if that thing is being done by somebody that I love. Because listen, we're going to tell the truth over here and shame the devil. Okay. So Candy Burris, um, a lot of questionable things happened while she was on ROA. Matter of fact, when Nene Leakes was suing ROA, and I believe she's still in litigation, um, when she was suing ROA and talked about uh, uh, discrimination, this, that, that, and the other, Candy Burris came out and said, well, I'm good. And I'm paraphrasing, guys. Y'all know what she said. If you a follower, she pretty much said, I'm good. So, Candy, are you only questioning the decisions now because you no longer are getting a check for them? Because when you was getting a check for them, you said you was good with Andy, good with Bravo, good with NBC Universal, good with Truly Entertainment. So when did you get this aha moment? When you were told or you said you wasn't coming back for the Sweet 16 season, that's when you got an aha moment and you want to now question their decisions. Candy, stop. And I love you, but stop it. I don't like the fact that they suspended Kenya. The Only For You singer said on a recent episode of Young Jock in the Street Money Takeover radio show. Okay, let me calm down here. Um, let's pause this. Because the other night I had something playing in the background. Or maybe it's not playing. We're going to let it go. Uh, let's put pause that. Okay. So I know a lot of people are like, she shouldn't have shown that. But this is housewives. Now you see how your own friends would tell on you in an indirect way. Kenya Moore is 10 toes down. She didn't show anything. Okay. Guess what Kenya Moore is saying? She would never. A lot of Kenya Moore friends saying she would never. But here you got Candy Burris pretty much saying she did. She said, I know a lot of people are like, she should have shown that. But this is housewives. Do y'all catch that sentence before y'all come chat with me in these comments? I know a lot of people are like, she should have shown that. But this is housewives. This is coming out of the, her, her girlfriend's mouth, Candy Burris. Not mine. Not mine. This is coming out of Candy Burris' mouth, okay? Burris continue. How many times we did, done did something that y'all think somebody shouldn't do? So who made the rules? While y'all all of a sudden have such an issue with somebody doing something crazy to somebody. Um, Candy, didn't you have an issue with what Phaedra Parks did to you? Didn't y'all all have an issue with people putting hands on people? But okay, that's why y'all only have an issue when it impacts somebody you love or yourself. Okay, I got it. On June 14th, page six exclusively broke the news that Moore, who joined the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast in 2012, was suspended indefinitely from the reality series. The decision to pause the 53-year-old former beauty queen's participation in the series came days after she decorated the grand opening of her Kenya Moore hair spa with posters of Roa newcomer Brittany Edie allegedly performing oral S. Sources told us Edie 36 was not present at the event. I, she was present at the event. Um, we have since come to learn. Now, was she there when the physical photos were shown or not shown, whatever y'all want to call it, okay? That's questionable because I heard a lot of people walked out of the event uh, when that said situation happened because a lot of people were in shock. We're told an investigation was subsequently launched, more did not engage in revenge, P, and later addressed her suspension. I stay winning. It's in my blood, the Miss USA winner said on Instagram Live last week. Success matriculates um, um, around me. So I said that. God has given me that. God has given everybody that as long as they believe and they accept it, girl. It's not just you. You know, when people come out and act like they're, oh, they're the only person that God loves, it, it baffles me. It makes me laugh, right? He loves us all, right? Even when we do bad things and we do wrong things and we make horrible mistakes, he still loves us all. There is no one individual person, if you are a believer, that um, God loves more than anyone else. But listen, People always want to bring up religion when their back is up against the wall. All of a sudden, there's God, they're God's favorite child. He loves them the best, and he would never let them fall. Sometimes we got to fall, but the thing is about falling. It's about, did you get up? Now, can Kenya Moore get up from this? I say absolutely so. But um, sometimes your get up doesn't mean that you want to go back to the job where you messed up at. Your get up means that, you know what? Be sure that the next time 
um, be sure that the next time that you don't do the same mistake again. So Kenya Moore, I hope she learned a lesson from this. Now, this is a hard lesson to learn, but you know, sometimes that's what it takes for people to understand that you messed around and you had to find out. So she found out. Why would anyone play games with a $4 million? I mean, I'm saying $4 million. Now I'm up in the girl's salary. With a $2 million check? I don't know. I know I wouldn't do it. They say too much is given, much is required. And if she is the shade assassin that many people claim Kenya Moore is, she should have been able to use her words to get back at Brittany Edie. Um, if she did do what the rumors are saying in the street she did, that was beyond gutter though. That was all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way in the gutter. Listen, guys. Chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts on Candy Burris coming to try to save her girl, Kenya Moore. Sometimes people can't be saved. They just have to suffer, suffer the consequences of what they've done. And let me know your thoughts on changing the rules. No, Candy, the rules never change. OK, the uh, these same rules that are being applied to Kenya Moore right now, um, you benefited from them when it came to Phaedra Parts. So miss me with the nonsense. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the like button and I'll see you on the next video.